So guys, we are cruising through the Assassin's Creed series. I swear, man, like this is insane. It feels like just yesterday when I was in the first Assassin's Creed. <laughs> but here we are, everyone. Welcome to Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. That's right, for the third time on the channel. Except this time, it is on the PS5. So I'm curious of like what the graphics and the speeds are going to be like in terms of, you know, like all of this being on the PS5 and stuff. Granted, it is a PS4 game, but... The PS5 does actually speed it up and make it look graphically better for some reason. It's it, I've done research on it and it's actually true. I've seen like reddits and everything. It's it's crazy, man, but it's actually really freaking sick. It makes gameplay smoother as well on a PS4 game. So, yeah, but anyways, I'm ready to test out the loading time, so let's get it everyone. And there's Liberation as well. I I don't think I'm going to be playing Liberation though. I mean, it is basically, it was, like, a non-console game before, so, yeah, I, I don't know, man, it's, it's just weird. What's going on? It's like I want to play it, but then it goes out of the thing. Uh, what? There we go. I guess I had to reset my system, everyone. Sorry about that. That was, that was so weird. All right, we're testing out the loading screens now. Currently on five seconds. Twelve seconds just to get into the game. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. All right, everyone. You know what to do. Leave a like for the very first time of Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. If you guys want to see the parts quick. And as always, let's can let's like uh, continue with the Assassin's Creed series. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, man. Oh my gosh, going through this again, man. Whew. Jeez, I can't wait to see how it plays on PS5 though. I'm I'm actually kind of excited in that aspect, but I'm also excited to play as Desmond as well. But anyways, get a snack or popcorn, a drink or something, and let's do this. Oh, okay. I thought it was just going to start off right from there, but hey, <laughs> that's all good. Oh, also, I love this DLC, by the way. I might play this DLC again, just because solely the DLC is just so good, man. I love flying, love the eagle ability. It's, it's just so freaking fire. So I'm going to have to turn the music volume really down, though. Which, which sucks, you know, it, it does suck, but, you know, it's that little copyright that we all love. But anyways, let's do this once again. Let's start this new game. Yes, sir. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden. Some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. 
a device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Woo, let's go, baby! I was really low, by the way. Now this is like really high in the decibels, so I'm gonna turn it down. We're here. Desmond looks so good, man. The evolution of Desmond, like the development, just so crazy. Let's go. All right, here goes nothing. We are in it. Feels good so far. Really dark, by the way. Cannot see anything. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. I cannot see anything. What is going on? Okay. Now we're good, I guess. <laughs> what? I think we're here. What gave you that idea? The glowing... <laughs> door? Probably. Oh yeah, this feels amazing. 
The running feels so fluid, too. I can't wait to be out in the city with Desmond. Desmond's missions are, like, the best things in this. You can feel that in the controller. I did not know there was going to be haptic feedback in the controller. The key. You must find the key. Son? Sir? <sighs> Here we go again. And he's out. Desmond? Do you hear us? What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? <laughs> you weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. All right. Can do. And it begins. Oh, yeah. The new parkour and everything. Let's okay, go. Desmond, let's practice climbing on these objects. Man, the evolution of climbing as well in games. So crazy, man. But feels good climbing in this game, for sure. It's like a lot smoother in a way. There we go. Yeah, look at that. The switch off, yo. Free run your way through this little obstacle. Rerun! Let's get it. Woo, baby! Gonna assassinate soon. Strength. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. Alright, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Woo! Come here! All you have to do here is jump the gap. Jump the gap. Right. Uh, pretty sure you can't. Yeah. That's what I thought. You definitely can't. Gonna be synchronizing here in a bit. Hang on. I can't wait to be climbing the trees. Oh, man. And the rope dart as well. Good times, yo. Here we go. Synchronization levels look good now. We should 
should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. You know what's crazy? I never realized we were gonna play as a Templar in the very beginning of the game. You know? That's so crazy to me. Sir. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Here we go. Let's jump in. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. This mission is so crazy, yo. Uh, the fact that he just like climbs and no Good one evening, notices. Sir. This way, please. It is so dark. Hang on, let me fix the darkness real quick. Where are the settings? There they are. Okay, let's see. Brightness, here we go. Might as well turn that up. I think we're good. I'll just turn the volume up one more time. All right, should be good. Much better. All right, uh, why are they in my way? Oh, okay. Coming through. My apologies. And also what what else is crazy is that there's lights, man. Like where I'm climbing. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once, my father brought me here as a child, though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Eagle vision time? Yep. Right up there. Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I already have. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. A thousand pardons. My apologies. Gotta hand it to him though, he, he is a pretty sly assassin when it comes to this kind of stuff. Don't mind me, just not seeing a random man climbing. There we go. <laughs> this is so crazy, man. It's like, what? Everyone just minding their business. Nothing to see here, folks. Alright, I think we learn uh, lock picking. Here we go. Need to remember how to do this tension angle. Uh, where is it? I feel it. It's like right here. There it is. Got it. 
All right. Probably the the next couple of videos after this, everyone, we will be playing as Connor as a kid. But there is a very long intro with Haytham here. I don't know if you guys knew this or whatever, but Haytham is actually the grandfather of, uh, uh, crap, I'm Edward, Edward Kenway. Which is really crazy, by the way, if you think about it, like, now, like, Haytham is, like, in this time right now. Because he's all grown up. But as a kid, he was on the seas. <laughs> this is so crazy, man. What an assassination. Hey, Phil. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Here we go. <laughs> the freaking kid. Oh, man. <laughs> so, it's <laughs> so crazy, bro. Ladies. And they're going to find out in three, two, one. There it is. It's this guy. He did it. Boom. There he is. Get him. <laughs> Here we go, getting out of here. Just casually walking out the building. What a beast, man. Hey. It's this guy. He did it. Where are you going? There we go. Got him. You guys caught him. There you go. You've caught the person you were looking for. Well done. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain, whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. 
I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. And there you have it. First mission complete. Let's go ahead and do one more. I believe we are going to the ship. Yep. I know this game all too well. I have played it like five times. <laughs> Share might do me good. Yeah, I could never just stay still, man. I, I would get so seasick. Couldn't be me, yo. Could not be me. This is finally where the ships take place. And then all will be well. And Black Flag was sure born. Of, of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. Here we go. Stay out of this. Bring it on. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Ooh, you didn't like that, did you? Mm. That's right. Mm. Mm. Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fellas, call this off. If the captain sees to us... To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. All Who right. you on anyway? Should have warned you. <laughs> I love the audience. Oh! <laughs> Time to get knocked out. <sighs> We're ready to go again if you are. You sure this about is that? Unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Ah, oh, this is gonna hurt, buddy. Ah, oh, you missed. Mmm! 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 Knockout. Do you yield? Never! <clears throat> how do you like these odds? Really? Is that how you feel? I don't like these odds, but I can change the course of events. Give me that weapon. What's the meaning of this? Captain, explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <laughs> 
What a beast. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Jeez. Excellent. Good day. <laughs> That's so crazy. Bro, he's a beast, man. This is probably the smoothest combat of all Assassin's Creed's, in my opinion, I'd say. It was good choreography. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. But I'd best get to work. All right, let's find out who's the traitor in the midst. He's got our rations again. Claims you're not having second thoughts, are you? Alone needs to be done, Bob. Hello, friends. You there? I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Sure thing. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary. The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice, go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Thank you kindly, sir. Are you James? Hi. Haytham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. So, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk them down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Don't worry, buddy. We will. Everything will be A-OK. -okay. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. 
Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? They leave in the trail. These are something, fellas. Won't hardly take his hat off. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right to feast on lamb and wine. I swear that was tinned <clears throat> fish and biscuit. Curious. Hmm. Most curious. It kind of reminds me of Star Wars with the uh, Darth Vader. Impressive. Most impressive. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Hatham. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the Opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? What, you rather be fisticuffs where I beat the absolute crap out of you? Didn't think so. Unguard. Come on, man. Where you going, huh? Get your butt up. Get your butt up, huh? Get your butt over there. Pitiful. You're weak. Weak, Mills. That's right. What you doing, huh? Weakness. Nice try. That probably didn't feel good, did it? Oh, okay. Sure. What's wrong? Drop your freaking weapon, huh? Want me to do it again? There you go. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, how'd that feel? That probably didn't feel too good, did it? Come on. You don't look so good, mate. Mm, mm. Ooh, ragdoll physics. 
told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. Then I will. All right. All right. You ain't the captain here, pal. That's so sick. Jeez. Sound design's so good on the sea. I told you this was bad. yourself. I'll fix your sail for you. Yeah, yeah, I got this. No big deal. Where the heck did I just go? Woo, look at those waves. Oh my goodness. Let's go get the others. Go, go, go. Just gonna calmly jog. Don't mind me. <laughs> what? What the? All right, here we go. Secure it. That is such a sick background. Those waves are intense, y'all. There's another one. I got it, I got it. Heave. Sir, yes, sir. Well, no time like the present. Up we go. Woo! Oh, man. This is nuts. Oh, my goodness. What just happened there? Woo! Hang on. Deploy the sail. Woo! That's not good. I got you, friends. I'm coming. Here I come! Huh. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that ship is screwed. See you, buddy. Jeez. Success. Day 72. Can you imagine? About to see some land soon. Make ready for our arrival, men. Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. 
Here we go, guys. It's time for the intro of the game. Assassin's Creed is nothing without a starting off with a nice view. All the way up to the freaking crow's nest on top of the world, baby. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's freaking get it. Let's go. Gosh, I love this soundtrack so much. I bet it's copyrighted though, but I love this soundtrack. Ah. Uh. Loading times is really good. I can definitely feel a difference. Sequence two. Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. I hate that Pleasure guy. To make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Ah, but he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This Wait, way. Someone stop him! Too busy for that. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Oh man. Look over there, guys. You know where that is. Happens near the end of the game with Charles Lee. Woo! Now we can explore the city. But I'm just gonna go straight to the objectives. Damned spring. Hey. This accursed city will be the death of me. There he is. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac, the first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah. If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. Very much so. Thank you, good sir. I'd like to buy some normal weapons. 
Thank you. And I will take a firearm as well. Can't wait to try out all the new suits as well in this. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wait, what? R1, L to select the sword, large weapons, release, exit the weapon wheel. Oh, okay. Nice. Back on the horses again. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No, Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye, William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. I always loved, like, fighting as many red coats as possible in this. Because the choreography is just so good, and the combat, with the combat, is just, like, so much fun. There it is! Shall we? I'm gonna keep going. Lion, cheating, no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps you've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. This way. This is where we have all of our meetings. What in the world? <laughs> he was like glitching there. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Time to go find Thomas Hickey. I hate that guy too. I mean, he's kind of cool, but man, he he makes a good villain. I also love how well paced this game is. Just like you could take your time with it or you could speed it up, but I, I kind of like taking my time with these types. Johnson's errand. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Patham Kenway. 
Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. But don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two, approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half or four before they've even realized what's happened. Great idea. Here we go. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot. Pick it up. You two, clear up. Fire when ready. Let's get it. Well done, fellas. Let's keep moving. What's up, guys? Bring it on! Been waiting for this. Come on. Mm. Don't think so. Mm. 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 Ow. Right through your head. So much fun. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! That's what you think. What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. With pleasure. <laughs> on with the show then. Guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. No, they were not. What's going on? Why can't I... Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Woo! Wait for it. Reflex shot. Yeah, buddy. Mmm. Woohoo! Snap that neck. You already know what it is. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> he punches hard, yo. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Aphem, this one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being back to the Green Dragon then. I need a drink. I also love that looting the bodies is so much quicker than all the Assassin's Creed's that I've played so far. Careful, Jen. We've company. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care. We'll take care of them. This rabble. Bring it. Mm. Get over here! Woo! A little help, please. Quick. You got it, buddy. You're good. You're good. Wait. Them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? 
In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Aw, why has you always got to go and spoil the sport? No, no, he's right. Loot when you can. So always carry ammo on them. Always love bringing the musket with me as well. I think they're going to be on the rooftops coming up. We got to be ready. Yep. Really? All right, buddy. Mm. Woo! <laughs> Imagine getting slapped, yo. Jeez. Allow me. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Oh. There we go. Reload, 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 reload. And get him. Sweet. I hope whatever's in this chest is worth it. Come on now. It's just a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. I know some of you guys have told me to like loot the bodies, so I'm definitely gonna do that. Oh, there's more of them. Here we go. We ready. Let's take out the guy on the roof. Ah, oh, dang, he's too far. I want him to do the double thing. That's where the amazing choreography is. Ouch. Okay. I'm coming for you. What are you gonna do now, huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Get off my edge. Excuse me. Burn me. Coming through, sheep. What are you doing? Seems to be the last of them. It definitely is. Boy, Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas. Well. Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. And there you have it. Alright everyone, this seems like a good place to leave off the video. So when we come back next time, hopefully we'll uh, be in the snow soon. But we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be like another couple parts down the road. But anyways, love you all. Thank you so much for all the likes and support that you give on this. And I'm ready to get back into this Assassin's Creed journey, man. Like, it's going to be fun. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see all of you guys and girls in the next video. Assassin4259, out.